Hello humans of the internet, my name is Iceberg Lettuce, and welcome to Random Toaster Studios. Today we're here in Minecraft Snapshot 20w15a, where I have built a tiny magma cream farm. So as you might know, there was a new biome introduced in this snapshot called the Basalt Delta, and the only mobs that can spawn in this biome are ghasts and magma cubes. So taking advantage of that, we are up here on the nether ceiling above a basalt delta. So we have this little spawning space here. I just made a circle. You could make this bigger if you wanted, but it really doesn't need to be. You'll see it's really pretty efficient, only with a size this small, and you'll never really need that many magma creams. So we put a fence around the outside to keep them in so that they don't you know, go wandering off the edge. And we have three blocks of space here, one, two, three, and then a bunch of bottom slabs. So like I said, the only mobs that can spawn here are ghasts and magma cubes, and ghasts can spawn if there are four blocks of space, but by leaving only three blocks of space, we only allow room for the magma cubes, and the largest size of magma cubes can still spawn in here, so it'll be as efficient as possible. These are bottom slabs so that we don't get anything spawning up here, so that we don't have to, you know, cover it with carpet or anything. Now for the killing mechanism inside, it's pretty simple obviously, you just have some soul sand here, which is a bit smaller than a regular block, so items will be able to get hoppered through it, and then on top of that we have a bunch of wither roses just covering this, so that, you know, that's obviously what kills the magma cubes. And then the only things that magma cubes will try to chase down and pathfind to are players and iron golems. So in the center here we have an iron golem, he's standing on some bottom slabs as well so that nothing spawns in there with him. And we leave a little bit of space here so that the magma cubes are actually able to, you know, see him and will actually try to get to him. Uh, the magma cubes aren't able to jump through here unless they are the real tiny ones and those can't jump high enough to get through so you won't need to worry about your iron golems getting hurt at all. And so then underneath it's pretty simple obviously we just have a ton of hoppers because I didn't really want to build a hopper minecart system but that would work just as well. And they all feed down into here. And this is the result of me just sitting here for 15 minutes so obviously this is pretty efficient for how simple it is. All you have to do to AFK here is just build a bit of a pillar with some, you know, some uh, scaffolding or just a ladder or something. There's no real specific height you need to go to but I went up about 64 blocks or so. And then you can see if we look down you'll already start seeing a ton of magma cubes spawning. They sort of, it looks sort of like they glitch through the top which is a little bit weird but you don't need to worry about that. So this is not the most efficient design you could possibly make. Obviously if we go down here you'll probably start to see some of the magma creams that get dropped by these guys, you know. They get stuck on the edge, they don't get picked up by the hoppers, but that's totally fine because this is basically super efficient anyway. It gives you a ton of magma creams, you'll never really need that many. So yeah, if you are looking to build this in your own world, it is pretty simple. All you need to do is start with any solid block on the bottom here, just build a circle as big as you really want to in the center. Put uh, three by three of bottom slabs, build an iron golem on it, trap him in there with some fences on the top and the bottom, put some soul sand around it, cover it in wither roses, and put some fences around to keep the <laughs> keep the magma cubes in, put some bottom slabs on top, AFK up at the top, put a bunch of hoppers in here, and then put them into whatever kind of storage system you want. Thanks for watching, and see you next time, toasties!